But following a major party switch from one candidate, here is what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced today. I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. But to do that, I must first declare my own independence. Independence from the Democratic Party. CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa joins us now. Bob, uh, I've seen um, some say that RFK Jr.'s switch is going to help Republicans. Some say it's going to help Democrats. What, how is this impacting the field right now? Jeff, great to be with you. Talking to strategists in both parties today, it's evident to me, based on our reporting here at CBS News, that Robert F. Kennedy's decision could have ramifications for both parties. For months, Kennedy has been running in the Democratic primary against President Joe Biden. And because of that, he has earned some Democratic support in certain key early voting states. And he could carry that into a general election running as an independent candidate. But his coalition has always been different than a traditional Democratic opponent for President Biden. He wasn't running to President Biden's left necessarily. He was running as an outsider. And his support for different positions that are against vaccination programs and the advocacy for vaccines have appealed to many Republican voters. And that's why some allies of former President Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner, tell me tonight that they're worried about Robert F. Kennedy running as an independent because it could pull some of that anti-establishment vote away from the Republican candidate. Uh, former Congressman uh, Bob Will Hurd dropped out of the race. He endorsed Nikki Haley today. She's had some momentum, as you know, recently. Um, does that continue for her, and how does, how does her leaving change the race? For Congressman Hurd, the former Texas Republican congressman, this is something that was really in the offing for quite some time. He didn't make the debate stage. He was struggling with fundraising. So it's not a surprise to see him leave the race. But for him to endorse the former ambassador, Nikki Haley, it's a sign that so many from Hurd's wing of the party, let's call it the more traditional Republican wing, the hawkish foreign policy wing, would like to see somebody emerge in the coming weeks as a viable alternative to former President Trump as he moves closer to the nomination. It's been a difficult endeavor for so many of them because they're cutting into the same group of voters, all of them, while Trump holds on to his own group, re respectively, for much of this campaign. And so for her to get out, it's a sign that many of them are trying to consolidate it at some point. But as former uh, Republican nominee and Utah Senator Mitt Romney told me in recent weeks, until this field really narrows for Republicans, no one has a shot in his view and in the view of many donors and other party leaders of becoming that Trump alternative. We've heard some of the candidates, as we just saw, uh, talk about the attacks in Israel. Um, how does that change their campaign messaging? I mean, they've, they've all had to switch pretty quickly here. It's a pivot moment for the world, and it's, of course, a pivot moment for the Republican presidential race. They are now turning their eyes to foreign policy. Former President Trump asserting himself as someone who's been in the White House and should be nominated again in such a, a tense moment globally as foreign affairs comes to the fore of the debate and the discussion here at home and abroad. And for Nikki Haley, the former ambassador, it's a way for her to underscore her foreign policy experience. And those who are in the race and have been traditional Republicans on foreign policy, like former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, among others, it's an opportunity to talk about their worldview and how they've been longtime supporters of Israel. And for someone like Vivek Ramaswamy, who's been raising questions at times about funding for Israel from the U.S., it's a, a bit of a testing moment. How will he handle the scrutiny of his own position? Interesting. All right, Bob, always good to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jeff.